Ladies and gentlemen, Bellator Fighting Championships along with Everlast. What do you fight for? And UB.net raise stack own. Tonight at Bellator 21 at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Now present this women's special feature at a catch weight of 120 pounds scheduled for three five minute rounds. And now introducing first fighting out of the red corner. She wears the black trunks at five foot three. She weighed in at 119 and one half pounds. The American Jiu Jitsu specialist brings a professional record of four victories, four defeats. She's got one win by knockout, two by way of submission. Representing Caveman Crew in Crawford's American Jiu-Jitsu, fighting out of Raytown, Missouri, introducing Sarah White Tiger Schneider. And across the cage, her adversary fights out of the blue corner. She wears the white at five foot three. She weighed in at 118 and one half pounds. The catch wrestler and grappler brings an undefeated and impressive professional record of 19 and 0, with 16 victories by way of submission. Representing AACC from Okayama, Japan, presenting Megumi Mega Megu Fuji. And your referee for this contest, Jorge Alonso. There you see Josh Barnett, the trainer of Megumi Fuji, one of the Where's top heavyweights in all of strong, MMA. Okay. Obey my commands, protect yourself at all times. And also a very tough trainer, Sean. Sarah Schneider is trained by her older brother, Steve, himself an MMA fighter. On, Schneider in the black trunks. Fujii in the white trunks. Jorge Alonso is the referee. The bell in round number one. Fuji E staying very light on her feet. Schneider has to know that if she's going to win, this is where it's going to happen on the feet. Schneider is herself a grappler and a submission specialist, so she's not looking for a knockout. The strengths of Sarah Schneider are the same strengths of Fuji E. Fuji E just much more accomplished in MMA. Well, the same strengths, but not as strong. That's the point of being well rounded in MMA. You'll fight somebody who's better at what you're good at. Schneider right now looks very tentative. Backing off, not being aggressive. She's letting Fuji E push the pace here. And you know that that's what Fuji E's looking for. When we spoke to Sarah Schneider in our fighter meetings, I asked her, how confident are you? And she said, well, I'm confident that I'm a good fighter, but in this bout, anything can happen. But that's what we expected to happen. The takedown from Fuji E. She wants this fight on the ground. Tight guard held by Sarah Schneider. Schneider holding on very tight. I first saw Sarah Schneider the fight in Kansas City, Kansas. I called for Midwestern Television, September of 2007. She defeated former U.S. Judo Olympian Karina West by armbar submission in the first round. She was not intimidated to fight a former Olympian in that bout. She doesn't seem intimidated by Fujii, but Fujii obviously a completely different level from Karina West three years ago. You see that body triangle. She's locking up with her legs. You see the body, tr body triangle right here that she's locking up with her legs. It's different than the regular closed guard. It's good at holding somebody tight to you, but it's not good for a submission. You aren't looking for a submission when you body triangle from the guard. If Schneider has just a strength on. in this bout, Jimmy, I think it is actual strength. What's Very back? true. Like I said in the inner circle, you know, Japanese fighters that come to the U.S., that's a problem a lot of them have. American fighters seem to be bigger, stronger. With that grappling background, they're better at cutting weight. Hard to use some of that technique against someone who's a lot stronger than you, but Fuji E's in the right place to do it on top. Fuji E's so excited about making her Bellator debut, and a big slam on Schneider by Fuji E. So excited about participating in Bellator's women's 115 pound tournament, which begins in August. Schneider not very active at all in the guard, looking for a stand-up again. There is the stand-up by referee Jorge Alonso. Not a bad strategy against a better grappler. Hold on, wait for the referee to stand you up again. Fuji E just walking down her opponent. 
Now, I like Fuji E's movement. She's angling very well, very light on her feet. Good combination there on the inside by Fuji. -E. Oh, Sarah went for that spinning back fist and it cost her. Fuji E stepping right underneath it for the takedown. Good job passing by Fuji E. Excellent job. So smooth on the pass by Fuji E into side control. Now into the mount. Stepping over in the full mount on Sarah Schneider is Megumi Fuji E. Schneider holding the body lock, trying to keep her opponent tight. Now some beautiful groundwork from Fuji E. Now stepping up. It looks like she might be stepping over for the triangle. Can't really tell from here, but no, it looks like just a high mount. Fuji E more likely to look for a spinning arm bar from mounting ground and pound. I think so, but she understands the value of ground and pound for setting up submissions. Schneider trying to regain her feet, can't do it. Hammer fist and a straight jackhammer right by Fuji E. Good job by Schneider getting back to guard. And once again, she's underneath the armpits of Fuji E and just trying to stay close. You see the tight guard there held by Schneider. You see the wide base by Fuji E. She is so technically proficient on the ground. But that guard very low around Fuji E's hips. It's not a high guard. It's not a, what I would call a, a submission guard. You're not walking your legs up. You're not really trying to end the fight. Looks like right now Schneider's content to just hang on. Body triangle again locked up by Sarah Schneider. Schneider's cut. It's on the bridge of the nose and the blood trickling from the bridge of the nose into the right eye. Again, not danger to permanent vision loss. The danger is temporary vision loss. That blood runs into the eye. It makes it a lot harder to fight. Gotta work, gotta work. Closing seconds of round number one. Sarah Schneider versus Megumi Fujii. And we are headed to round number two. Round number two, Sarah Schneider is in the black trunks, Megami Fujii in the white trunks. You know, Schneider being a little more aggressive. Oh, now trying to jump to take the back of Fujii. Good job. This would be a monumental upset, but we're not quite there yet. Credit though, Sarah Schneider looking for offense rather than just playing defense. Gets Megumi Fujii, who's widely regarded as the top 115-pound female fighter in all of MMA. I was about to say, she seemed very passive in that first round, kind of letting Fujii dictate the pace both on the feet and on the ground. And coming out a little more aggressive this time, trying to work the rubber guard. You see her grabbing her shin, pulling it behind the head of Megumi Fujii, trying to control her posture with that shin. But Megumi standing up a little too tall for that. Again, this bout being fought at the catch weight of 120 pounds. Jimmy, how much of an advantage do you think that gives to Sarah Schneider? It gives a little bit of an advantage because she's naturally the bigger fighter. She's fought up as high as 135 pounds. So she's the physically bigger fighter. And you know, when you're at a catch weight, it always favors the bigger guy, but or girl in this case. But uh, you know, Fuji E, she's technical. I think she can handle much, much bigger uh, female fighters. We told you earlier about the black belt of Sarah Schneider in American Jiu-Jitsu. Fujii has a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and in Judo. And a knee there. Schneider trying to scramble to her feet, couldn't quite get there. Look how tenacious Fujii is on the ground. Uh, you can tell great balance forces that middle, that right knee through every single time. It, what she's doing, she's trying to use that right knee to keep Sarah Schneider from getting her guard back, but credit to Sarah Schneider, able to get back to guard. Just not able to do a lot with it. Gotta work, gotta work. Blood flowing freely again from the cut on the bridge of the nose of Sarah Schneider. And a stand-up order by referee Jorge Alonso. Uh, Fuji, I'm impressed with how aggressive Fuji E is on the feet. I don't think she's taken a backward step this entire fight. Big right hand there by Fuji E. And the takedown. Schneider was in a guillotine position, didn't take it though, Jimmy. Fuji E is just doing a good job of keeping pressure on that knee, always trying to pass. But Schneider, very tricky getting that guard back. Schneider, you see, holding her opponent chest to chest. 
But the thing is, is that she knows she's up against a, sub, a superior jiu-jitsu fighter, someone whose submissions are a lot better. She doesn't want to open up and take any risks, but you're down one round to none. You have to try something. You have to either scramble back to your feet or, or go for a submission on, from her back. If she's not confident in, in going for a submission, she thinks Fuji is going to pass, well then push off the hips, get some space, and get up. Sarah Schneider again trying to work rubber guard. You see the close guard very high up the back of Megumi Fujii. Right now her strategy looks to be just stall and get back to the feet, but once they're on the feet, she's not being aggressive. She's letting Fujii dictate the pace. And again, the stand up from referee Jorge Alonso because of a lack of action on the ground. Alonso doing a good job of keeping this fight moving, Jimmy. But that strategy uh, that, that Schneider's employing, which is stall on the ground and get back to the feet, only works if you're going to take advantage once you're on the feet. But you see here, she's backing up. She's giving Fujii a lot of opportunities on the feet. Second time Sarah Schneider has thrown the spinning back fist. Second time she has been taken down. The point of the spinning back fist is, is it works when you've thrown other strikes and your opponent's not ready for it. If you're throwing a lot of one-twos, a lot of kicks, they don't see that spinning back, back fist coming. If you throw it by, your, by itself, it's hard to land. Final minute of round number two. Unless you're fighting uh, Matt Major and you're Slamenko, I guess it works every single time then. Other than that, you gotta mix up other strikes. Nicely said, Jimmy. Hey, you know, I gotta give uh, Shamanko some love. He landed about 50 of those. You see Schneider, again, holding the tight closed guard on her opponent, Megumi Fujii. Schneider again, playing with the body triangle, playing with the rubber guard. One rubber guard trying to, you know, rubber guard's good at keeping your opponent close. It's very good at keeping your opponent tight so they can't pull a lot of submissions, but Unless you're using it effectively to go for something, like we're seeing here, she's not really threatening with any submissions. She seems content to hold on. Don't think that's the right strategy. We are going to a third and final round in this Bellator special feature fight. The women's catch weight of 120 pounds. Third and final round upcoming in this Bellator special feature fight. Round. Women's catch weight of 120 pounds. Sarah Schneider, the Kansas City area fighter from Raytown, Missouri, is in the black trunks. Megumi Fujii from Japan. She's in the white trunks. Widely regarded as the top female fighter in all of MMA at 115 pounds and one of the top two or three pound for pound female fighters in the sport. Jimmy, how do you have this through two rounds on your unofficial card? Two rounds to none for Fuji E. Great ground control and aggressive on the feet. You saw there early in that exchange, she hit Fuji E. Fuji E backed up to the cage, and Schneider, Schneider backed up and let her go. That's kind of the story of the fight. Not only willing to press the advantage, seems content to hang back and let Fuji uh, get back into the fight, dominate position. You, you can't want to fight that way. You can't fight scared. Scared money doesn't win. It's a gambling term, but I think it works well for uh, MMA. Jimmy, I don't really believe in moral victories. I certainly don't in MMA, but saying that, does Schneider feel pretty good about herself? If she can go 15 minutes with Fuji, does she start to think about that at any point in this round? Why did you go 15 minutes? Anyone can run for 15 minutes. Anyone cannot engage for 15 minutes and win. You know, if you gave it everything you had and you lost, you have nothing to be ashamed about. And you know, what I tell my fighters when I train them is you have to love fighting more than you love winning. You have to go in there and, and, and give it everything you have, and then you can feel good about everything. Going the distance isn't good if, if you got Let's there because you weren't aggressive. You got there because you didn't give everything you had. Full mounts by Megumi Fuji. I'm not saying that's what Schneider's doing, but when you say moral victories, if you didn't try your hardest, there's no moral victory. Fuji with the ground and pound. Referee Jorge Alonso taking a close look. Now Schneider is giving her back and takes it away, but then she eats more punches. Unfettered shots by Fuji. -E. Fuji -E looking for her first win by TKO, Sean. She said she wanted one. That is it. That's it. That is the stoppage. 20 and 0 for Megumi Fuji -E and her first win by technical knockout. You know, we didn't take her that seriously when she said, I want my first knockout, but she got it. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, referee Jorge Alonso waves off this fight due to unanswered strikes. Officially, at 1 minute 58 seconds into round number three, the winner by TKO victory, Megumi, Mega Megu Fuji.
I'm here with your winner, Megami Fuji E. Great job. You're uh, one of your few fights in America. How does it feel to fight here in Bellator in front of the American crowd? Uh, I am very happy. Exciting. <laughs> Also, cheers will really work for you. Also, the women's tournament coming up, coming up, 115 pounds. You have to be considered the favorite. How do you feel about the Bellator women's tournament? Uh, I will show my skill, and I hope to, the, uh, to be the champion. <laughs> They're going to replay the, the end of the fight right now. How does it feel to get your first knockout, your first TKO victory, all your other victories by submission? Uh, I'm very surprised. <laughs> I want more. Hopefully you get more knockouts. Hope we come back and we see you again in the tournament next season. Big hand for Megumi Fujii, ladies and gentlemen.